You can see the wire coming from the panel is thinner. It is our 14.2. We have our 14.3, and that's gonna connect this unit, this detector, with all the other ones in our home. And every wire after this junction box is gonna be a 14.3. So we have this from our panel. You always start with your ground. And I've already pre-twisted our neutrals, and I'm gonna show you now how to connect the blacks and the reds, and it's the same way that I do it right here. One is longer. I want to have them at the same length. Now what I like to do is take my linesman and you see this distance right here? They're about half an inch thick and that's how much wire I want to expose. So this part right here, the black part, I'm going to use that as a guide and just cut off the top like that, very easy. And then I'm going to line up my two hot wires right here, the two blacks. Now, I usually pre-twist all my wires, but in this case, because the smoke detector wire is a stranded wire, I was always taught to lead just slightly with the stranded wire. It's all because of this wire nut, or if you're like me, I call these morettes. Now, why you wanna take your stranded wire and place it ahead is so that it can get into that little coil. And when you start to twist, you know for sure it's gonna grab. If you lead with a solid wire, it might not make a really good connection. So when you put your wire nut on, you wanna make sure you do that really firmly. One of the biggest things I see with people who do their own wiring are loose connections. So you just really wanna make sure that that is done really well. I'm gonna take my wire nut, place it on the wires firmly, and I'm gonna push down firmly and give it a twist. Now I'm gonna back off a little bit of my wire. This is what you wanna see right here. You're gonna to start to see these wires twist. And that is making a good connection. You can make about two twists and then that is good. And you can even give it a tug, little tug, and that is firmly connected. So we have our whites connected now, our blacks connected, and now we're gonna connect the two reds. And that is gonna make our smoke detector interconnected. And the interconnected one is usually covered in a little gel, a protective gel. So we're just going to remove that. Again, you're gonna lead with your stranded wire. You only have two this time because this is the first box from the panel. Every detector that you do after this will have actually three wires because you're gonna have the 14.3 in and the 14.3 out. That's gonna give you two wires. And then also the AC connector is gonna have your third one. So for this one, there's only two of these ones. And again, take your wire nut, your morette, and we're gonna give it a twist, nice and firmly. Twist, twist, okay, there we go. And now you can see pressure, more pressure, and it's twisting. You can see we've made our connections. We've got some good twisting here, and that just takes the pressure off of your morette. After you've made your connections with your AC adapter, we're just gonna push the wires neatly into your box. Now I'm not pre-twisting these wires. A lot of electricians will pre-twist their wires and I do pre-twist everything. Again, except smoke detectors or anything with a stranded wire. And I just think it's easier for DIYers. And so that is my box right there. And then I'm just gonna leave our AC connector and then let that stand out a bit. So there we go, we, we have our first box done. That's how you wire a smoke detector, guys and girls. When it comes to installing your mounting plate, you're just gonna back out the two screws here. And once it's in your ceiling like that, you're gonna twist it ever so slightly. You see that? That is gonna lock it in place. Because it's plastic, you don't want it to tighten it too much. You'll over tighten it and actually break your mounting plate. But I do see a lot of times, actually in the last house that I did, there were two where these actually came apart because they weren't screwed in sufficiently. So you wanna make sure that they're snug, but again, don't over tighten it because it is plastic and plastic will break. I want to have to go back up there. So, And then you just put your smoke detector on with your AC connector. So I hope you found that helpful. Keeping you safe one smoke detector at a time. And that's what it's all about. You can check me out right here in these videos. This one, which one, which one, this one, this one. And everything that I've used, I will have links in the description to smoke detectors and two-in-ones and all the tools that I use. I hope you found that helpful, everyone. I'll see you in the next video.